Welcome to the team, Peter Fetch. I'm here in Arizona. The weather is beautiful, the courses are spectacular, but in less than 24 hours, I'm gonna be hitting a shot in front of 15,000 people in possibly the most intimidating atmosphere golf has ever seen. And to be honest, I am so far away from being ready is actually making me physically sick. And I'm here on a beautiful evening at Aguila Golf Club, just trying to get some practice in. My heart rate is currently 81, which is absolutely exceptional considering I've been smashing so many balls away. I know that is my heart rate because I'm wearing my Whoop, and it is with Whoop tomorrow that I'm gonna be hitting a shot on the 16th at TPC Scottsdale. Like, I am so nervous. I've got a chance, a shot at immortality here. Shot at glory, as we would say. I've also got a chance to win quite a bit of money for charity. But I'm not gonna do that if I'm slicing my pitching wedge. Could I have, how big's that suit, the suit? Um, Okay, could I get the soup? And could I also get some chicken wings as well? Thank you very much. So let me break the hole down. It's the 16th at TBC Scottsdale, and it's one of the most imposing tee shots in golf because of the Coliseum, because of the crowd that surrounds the green. It's a tricky approach, why like the green rolls off at pretty much every angle. However, it's the nearest to pin comp. So I can't even be worried about that. I've just got to be picking my club and going for the pin. Now, to give myself the best chance, to give myself the best headspace, I need a good night's sleep and I need a good recovery. Last night, I managed a 96% recovery, which is absolutely unheard of for me. So tonight, I'm gonna eat relatively healthily, not have anything to drink, and get some good shut eyes. So in the morning, I am well rested. I think a good recovery score tomorrow would be 70 and above. That gets me primed for activity. Morning. Morning How are we? Wonderful, thank you. How are you okay. Um, yeah, I feel great to be honest. I absolutely feel top of the world, top of the tree. No worries in my sky. It's as clear as the Arizona blueness you see before you. How do you sleep? Um, yeah, awesome, actually. I think, what was my goal? 80%? 60%? Uh, 80. 80. I slept that well, I can't even remember. So I got 96% recovery, which is pretty unheard of for me, especially like two days in a row. Hopefully I've not just looked at yesterday's recovery score. Pretty sure it's today. Yeah, 96%. So I'm, I'm primed, I'm good, I'm ready, I'm feeling fine. Have you eaten? Have you got prepared? Um, <laughs> well, I mean, I've eaten some sausage and some bacon and some eggs and half of your waffle that you made, but I mean, listen, nutrition's the, the next thing on my list. By the way, this, this walkway to the room is like impossible to navigate. Like I'm sure it'll look good on an architectural drawing, but trying to drag your suitcases around this thing, absolute nightmare. We'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> you already strategy well, you should feel good. Yeah, I mean, listen, at the end of the day, it's 140 yards. It's a flick with a wedge. Last year it was slightly downwind. It's it's an easy shot. It's only the the situation that makes it difficult, but it is a a very different situation. 
So what is the plan now? Plan, uh, we're gonna be getting into the car, got the pass, got the pass. We're gonna be driving over to the waste management. Uh, we're gonna spend an hour or two just acclimatizing, you know, getting used to the, the noise and everyone pootling about. And then it's to the shot. I think the shot is actually at 3.30 at the start of the event. And there's about 30 players that are gonna be hitting. I have no idea where on the list I am. So I could be off first, I could be off last. I just need to be mentally pliable enough to cope with every situation. Oh, you gotta, you gotta keep up the most important things. Man, you ain't working. Oh, Rashford, what a boy. I'm back for a week, then I'm back here again, then I'm back, then I'm Amsterdam, then I'm back, and then I'm Barbados. Might be closer. And that is it, the whoop shot at glory is over. I am at the same time absolutely ecstatic that I made contact and I was leading this event for a very short space of time. I am so annoyed that Michael Phelps, like literally one of the greatest athletes of all time, doesn't already have enough success. I thought, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna hit it closer than Pete and rub it in his face. Okay, it's time for a heart rate comparison. Let's have a look and see what I was as I struck the shot. Oh, 99. Oh, stay at 99, stay at 99. Oh, it goes to 100 in my backswing. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, and then it drops down to 99 as I finish my follow through. Yeah, oh, if I kept it below 100, that would have been mega. I was actually surprised how calm I felt, if I'm being honest with you. This is like probably one of those pinch me, won't, might never happen again kind of moment. So really happy I hit a shot. And if there is someone to lose to, I mean, it's not a bad person to get beat by, is it? Right guys, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you walk that like button, be a subscriber to the channel if you haven't already, but also continue your golf experience here on this channel. And I'm gonna go practice my 140 wedge shots, because just not gonna.